So here's the thing about creating AI videos and images. If you want the best results, you need to be using the best model for each specific task. Midjourney might be best for one type of image, but Flux is better for another. Sora is great for videos, but sometimes VO gives you better results. The problem is that means you're paying for Midjourney, you're paying for ChatGPT, you're paying for Gemini, and those subscriptions add up fast. But I just found a tool that gives you access to all of those models and more in one place. And I'm gonna test this out and see how well it works. Let's dive in. So this is a tool we're looking at today. It's called Polo AI. And I wanted to let you know upfront that they are the sponsor of today's video. But if you look right here with this one tool, you will get access to AI videos, AI images, AI avatars, AI shorts. Down here, we see other things like lip sync, AI image enhancer, AI video upscaler. Honestly, I could just spend the entire video naming all of the features that are available inside Apollo AI. But let's start with AI video generation because I wanna show you something really important over here. Over here on the left is where you can choose the model that is going to be used to generate your video. And if you look right here, there is a very long list of models available. So we have Polo 1.6, Sora 2, VO 3.1 by Google. We have Seed Dance 1.0, WAN 2.5, like a really, really, really long list. So basically, any video generation model that you want is available inside of here. So again, instead of paying for all of these separately, they are all in this one place. But let's actually try this out and create something here. Okay, so to get started over here on the left, you will notice that there's a few different ways that you can generate videos. We have image to video, text to video, AI avatar. But in this case, we're gonna start with text to video. Now under the model selector, I'm gonna choose one of the most popular models, which is VO 3.1. This is Google's brand new model that just came out. And you can see you have two choices here, regular or fast. I'm gonna go with regular for a bit of a higher quality. Now inside of the prompt, I'm gonna use this prompt. A woman in a red dress walking through a busy city street, camera follows her from behind. I'm also gonna have it generate audio for me as well. And I want the length to be six seconds. Now under the aspect ratio, I'm gonna do 16 by nine, which is widescreen like the video you're watching right now. The other one would be better for something like YouTube Shorts. Next, you can choose how many video outputs you want. So what that will do is if you select two, it will actually generate two videos for you so you can choose which one you like the best. Generally, I find that one is fine and if you're not happy with it, you can always do the prompt again. And then I'll click on generate. Now, while that's generating, let's try another one. This time I'm going to use Sora 2, which is extremely popular. People seem to love Sora 2. Problem is, if you use it with the native Sora 2 app or the Sora app, it includes a watermark. And with this one, it won't include a watermark. And so it's a lot more usable. And underneath model version, I will do the regular one. And this time for this prompt, I'm going to do a close up shot of raindrops hitting a window with a blurred city in the background. Only four seconds for this one. We'll keep the other settings the same and click on create. Now, while that one is finishing up, let's go ahead and watch the first video. And there we go. That is exactly what I asked for. So I'm super happy with that. So now the video by Sora 2 is ready. So let's go ahead and watch that one. Man, that looks great. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So now I can come in here and actually download these. And you'll notice even with Sora 2, I can now download it without a watermark. Now the next tool inside of here is called Image to Video. And just like the name implies, it will take any image and turn it into a video. Now the reason I like this tool is because it allows you to lock in exactly what the video will look like before you actually generate it. Now in order to do this, you of course need an image. And if you don't have one already, that's okay, because if you click up here on this image icon, inside Apollo AI, you can generate any images that you want. So I'm gonna click on text to image, and under the model selection, I'm going to choose Nano Banana, which is one of my favorite image generators. But you notice here that there are a ton of different ones in here, like Midjourney, Sea Dream, Flux, Quen, all the top models in here. So I'll select Nano Banana, and inside the prompt, I wanted to create an image of a hyper-realistic, futuristic cityscape at sunset with flying cars and neon signs. 
Now for the aspect ratio, I'm going to do 16 by nine because that is what the aspect ratio of the video that I want to create should be. And then for the number of outputs, this time I'm actually gonna choose two so I can choose which one is the best. And then I'll click on create. So here are the results, two different images. I think both of them look great. You can choose the one that you like, but if you wanna make any changes to it or you don't like them, you can just click right here where it says reprompt. That will then repopulate everything here on the left and you can make any changes. So I can say, make it a worn in gritty city and then click on create. This time we'll just do one. And there we go, that's much cooler. I like that effect and that image a lot better. So now we wanna turn this into a video. And this is one of the coolest things about Polo AI is that you can take any project and just turn it into anything else you want with just a couple of clicks. So right here, you see all these little buttons that it puts here for you. And if I click this one right here, it says image to video. So I'm gonna click on that. That will then open up the image to video generator with my image already populated right here. Now, all I have to do is go through all the steps I showed you before. So we will choose a model here. For this one, I want to use Midjourney because we haven't tested that one yet. And then in the prompt box, I'm going to type in camera slowly pans around the cityscape, flying cars move in the background, and then I'll go ahead and click on create. Now for mid-journey by default, they always do four outputs. So that's what's required, but that would be cool because then we can choose the one that we really like the best. Okay, so here are the results. Four different videos, similar in many ways, but all just a little bit different. So I can choose the exact one that I like. Now I watch all four of them and personally, this one is my favorite. I think it's just the smoothest. It is exactly what I want and that is a really cool looking video. So now I can go ahead and download this and use it however I need. So all of that is really cool, but without a doubt, my favorite tool inside of Polo AI is their AI video effects. So here on the left, I can click on effects, and these are like trending effects that are really cool and very popular. And you can select any of them and actually create videos yourself that look very similar. So let's try out one or two. I'm gonna click up here where it says trending. This will sort and put the most popular ones at the top. And for purposes of this, I wanna try out this AI flying video generator. So watch how easy this is. I just click on where it says use this effect. And now I can upload any image that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image of myself. And there we go. Now notice you don't have to put a prompt in here. And that's because this is a video effect. It already knows based on this template what to do with the video. So we don't actually have to tell it. All we have to do is click right here where it says create. And here's the video, so let's go ahead and watch it together. <laughs> and that's super fun. I absolutely love that. I think that's really cool. Let's go ahead and try another one. I'll click here on the left again where it says effects. And for this one, I wanna try this one where the person can become a werewolf. So I'll click on use this effect. I will then use the same image and then click on create. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and watch it together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is, that is so fun. I think that's really, really cool. So yeah, I actually love these effects. I have way too much fun playing with them. Overall, I am super impressed with Polo AI. I've used a lot of video generation tools myself and I love all of them, but it does get expensive and I keep paying for them or I used to keep paying for them because I always wanted to use the best model for the job. But now Polo AI, I could just use this one because it has so many different tools all in one place and access to all the top models. So to get access to Polo AI, you can click the link in the description down below to sign up. And then you'll wanna click on the top right here to actually choose a plan. And what you'll notice is that it includes a free plan. So free users can create up to two videos without paying anything. So you can try this out for yourself, see if it works without spending any money. But then if you wanna be able to work on multiple videos at the same time, if you don't want any watermarks and you want the copyright protection, then you will wanna to upgrade to one of their paid plans. So there you go, that is Polo AI. Again, if you wanna try it out for yourself, a link for it will be in the description down below. Let me know while you're down there in the comments section, what was your favorite feature that I showed you here today? 
Personally, for me, I love those templates because it just makes creating content so easy and fun. But I'd love to hear from you, your thoughts in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.